And I'm proud that I'm the first Pakistani and the first young woman or the first young person who is getting this award. It's a great honor for me. In the same room. And I, wonder, yeah. I was in my chemistry um, class and we were studying about electrolysis, anode, cathode, and uh, the time was, I think, 10.15. So the time of the announcement of the Nobel Peace Prize was gone. And before that, I was not expecting that I would get this award. And um, when it went to like 10.15, I was totally sure that I haven't won it. But then suddenly, one of my teachers came to the class and uh, she called me and she said, I have something important to tell you. Phone call with, um, with uh, Honorable Kailash. Um, I cannot pronounce it. I believe that the Nobel Committee, they, they haven't given it just to me. But this award is for all those children who are voiceless, whose voices need to be heard. And I speak for them, and I stand up with them, and I join them in their campaign that their voices should be heard, and they should be listened. And they have rights. They have rights. It's important that both the countries focus more on education, focus more on development and progress, which is good for both of them. He received this award, and we both are the two uh, Nobel Award receivers. One is from Pakistan, one is from India. One believes in Hinduism, one strongly believes in uh, Islam. And it gives a message to people. It gives a message to people of love between Pakistan and India and between, between different religions. And we both support each other. It does not matter what's the color of your skin, what language do you speak, what religion you believe in. It is that we should all consider each other as human beings and we should respect each other. It's nice that an unassuming young lady can stand up in front of this sort of many people and gesticulate what she wants. And some of the things she says to us were very, very, makes us very, very proud. Things like, uh, you know, she, basically she's looking for peace in a couple of countries that have traditionally not been peaceful to, towards each other. And say, so it gives me nothing but inner pride as a Pakistani who basically lives in this country. When I was in school, like, no, when I was in college, actually, last year, the library was opening and I heard a lot of stories about Malala Issa, so she's a big inspiration to me and the college, so it's like a privilege to know that she won the Nobel Peace Prize and I'm proud of her, if anything.